each summer in Williamsburg, Kentucky. Purple Martins roost near the Huddle House by the busy Pilot Loves truck stop, not far from Walmart and across the street from the Hampton Inn. Most all of these end of summer roosts are located on the radar. They show up as green donuts on the local weather radar. Tonight they're landing right across the street from the Hampton Inn in these trees here. Right next to a truck stop, Huddle House, Walmart, Burger King. All this is going on and some people just don't even notice it. This is the height of the roost one evening in August 2017. Right below, just there, is where they're landing in these group of trees. And this is what it actually sounds like. What makes this so amazing is that Purple Martins totally depend on man for nest sites. Although these birds look wild, these are not wild birds. This is a Purple Martin pre-migratory roost. These birds all came from people's backyard birdhouses. Whether it's on a farm, a gourd rack, all of these birds, with the exception of the starlings, were born in somebody's backyard. And they all said shoulder to shoulder in the safety of many to form this roost. All the light colored bellies you see, most of them are young fledglings from this year. A few of them are females. So let's get up in the air with the birds and watch this pre-migratory roost happen. This is in the evening as they're coming in. out in the middle of nowhere, a busy parking lot area. But Purple Martins find safety in this group of trees by the Huddle House, Burger King, across the street from the Hampton Inn. But the tight formation of flying is starlings down low. Purple Martins are high, but you can just tell by the way they fly which ones are starlings and which one are Purple Martins. Most of these here are all Purple Martins. What's amazing about this is that there's people shopping, walking around that just don't even look up, just can't even, they don't even notice this is happening. It's quiet here all day long and just before sunset these birds sneak in. People just don't notice it. This is Williamsburg, Kentucky, 11 miles north of the Tennessee-Kentucky state line on I-75. All right, we'll pan the camera down here, and in this group of trees where I've marked it with X's, that's where all the Purple Martins are going to spend the night. Tens of thousands, quite possibly close to 100,000 Purple Martins roosting in these trees. And again, what makes this so amazing, most of the birds we see here are all purple martins. All of these purple martins almost entirely depend on man for nest sites. They don't nest in the wild, they don't nest in trees, they nest in specific man-made birdhouses. These are birds that came out of people's backyards, out of farmers' fields, farmers that put up gourds for purple martins. People in the city that might have a small half acre lot that have purple martin houses. All these birds came from humans backyards so maybe that's why they're okay in this human area. I'm not sure but I think they've smart enough to figure out that there's not many predators in this area is why they randomly choose 
roost tree areas like shown down there below. Maybe this area is not many hawks around. I didn't see any hawks flying through. Maybe the purple martins have figured that out. There's so much to learn about purple martins that we just haven't totally figured out. Which, by the way, I'm a chairman of the board of directors for the Purple Martin Conservation Association. And it's such a wealth, worthwhile organization. We sure appreciate you becoming a member and helping us learn more and educate humans about these birds that depend on man. While I was flying, I panned down the trees and look how close I got to these lights. I was actually about 20 feet away. It's just amazing. Walmart over there, people shopping. There's some regulars that I talk to, local people that say this happens every year, but it's now here they are dropping out of the sky. It's time to land. These birds almost look like they just quit flying and fall out of the sky. But it's just amazing how loud this area gets. I've talked to people about pre-migratory roosts, trying to locate them, and this one guy was at a rock quarry. It was so funny. I was telling him about the birds, and he said, oh yeah, they, they're over by the waterfall. There was no waterfall at this area. Birds and all that group, that many birds, they made the sound of a waterfall. And that's what this, that's how he described it. So we'll just hang here in the sky for a while. You can see there's still thousands up high flying around. They just, just not, they're just not ready to drop and land yet. But you can kind of understand how there's so many birds in the air, why this would show up on the radar as a false place. You know, it's just a circle on the map, the weather map. It's not rain, it's that many birds that show up as objects in the sky. I'm not sure how radars work, but all these birds show up on the radar. So a little bit later in the video here, next minute or so, we'll videotape everything from the ground with a GoPro camera, but glad I had your interest up until this point. The video lasts another at least 10 minutes, but it's a little bit slower, but it it gives you the full effect of, of the rear. So if I've lost you to this point, I'm glad, glad you got to see a Purple Martin pre-migratory roost. This one is not that massive, but it's worth looking at. All right, so now we'll start all over. This is the beginning of the roost in the evening. Just a few of them flying overhead. But a lot of this was recorded by my GoPro camera. Here's fast forward. You can actually watch the birds coming in fast forward. There's some just dotted up high. You can see how people that don't look up in the sky for birds, you can see how they've missed that. 
but this is in the Walmart parking lot looking towards the Huddle House in Burger King, Hampton Inn, Williamsburg, Kentucky. Here's a real neat time-lapse pieces. We're just sitting here waiting on the birds to come in. And then you'll start noticing the swirl of the birds in the air. You see them all coming in. It's pretty amazing. Now I started the GoPro part here. As this girl was walking by, she didn't even know, or maybe she'd seen it for many years. Purple Martins are really up high in the air, and then the group of starlings down low. You can just tell by the way they fly. This is the slow, on the ground look from a distance. You can see how these purple marks would show up on the radar. That beeping you hear in the background is my drone. I'm getting ready to get it up in the air and get the aerial portion of this video. It's just amazing to, I mean, look right over the Huddle House. There's got to be guys at the truck stop that notice that. So this last half of the video is pretty long, but it's just as if you pulled up a chair and sat in the parking lot with me to watch it. Purple Martins and Starlings fly as a group completely different, and you can see it here in the video. Those Starlings are murmurizations. They fly tight, purple martins are much higher and in a loose flock. <laughs> 